Miranda Hobson. I'm one of the haematology midwives at St. Mary's Hospital in Manchester. We look after ladies who have had thrombosis who or who have risk factors uh, for having a thrombosis. And um, we see them, assess them and teach them how to give their injections and monitoring if needed throughout their pregnancy. A low molecular weight heparin. Uh, the syringes look like this, they're very slim and they have an orange flap on them here that you move out of the way. But before you give your injection, you hold it firmly like a pen. Avoid this when you're giving an injection until you've got the injection in. So firmly like a pen, you remove the needle cap, uh, select the area of the abdomen that you're going to put your injection in, which is not too close to the tummy button, about hands width away from the tummy button. But all the areas around, and you need to rotate the sites around. If you do one injection on the right hand side, the next day on the left and so forth rotate your sites around. If there's a bruise, don't put another injection in a bruise. Use a different area. You can use the tops of the legs, the top upper outer thigh area. Um, some people like it, some people don't, just try it. So when you're going to do your injection, you uh, select where you're going to do it, and then you just grab the skin and you pull it up. So pinch an inch, really not too tight, not really pinching, but you pinch an inch up. Put the needle in at a 90 degree angle, put it to the skin and push it in. Then you plunge the syringe down, push the plunger down, 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 slowly in. When it's got to the bottom, you release the needle out, release your grip, Snap the needle into the orange flap and put it in your sharps box. On the skin, don't rub it afterwards. It will be a little bit stingy, 10 minutes, and that should be stopped stinging by then. I always warn people, it's gonna be stingy. It's like a little bee sting. It will go after 10 minutes. Don't rub the area. If there's a blob of blood or heparin liquid on the top of your skin, just dab it with a tissue and leave well alone. When we're giving the injections to pregnant ladies, then um, when they see the needle, when we take the needle cap off and they see the needle, sometimes they're worried that the baby's going to be affected with the injection. We can assure them that one, the injection, the fluid in it, the low molecular weight heparin doesn't pass the placenta, so it's not going to affect the baby that way. And also that needle is tiny. It's not going anywhere near. It's got to go through your skin layer, your fat layer, your abdominal muscles, and then your uterus. It's nowhere near baby. It's not going to affect them. And you can assure them that that is the case. Uh, after the injection, um, you can expect tingling, stinging sort of feeling for about five, 10 minutes, but it should stop after that. Um, you will get bruises occasionally and sometimes not. Sometimes you'll get a bruise one day and, and, and not a bruise the next day. You're not doing anything wrong. It just is what it is. Sometimes you hit a little tiny blood vessel that's feeding the fat layer and you'll make a bruise. Um, just try and avoid putting another injection in that bruise until the bruise is gone. Sometimes you get little pea-sized lumps under the skin as well. They will go away, but they take much longer. They can take weeks and weeks to go away. If they get red, sore and angry, you need to see somebody about that. Also, um, some ladies or people develop allergies to this product and it doesn't always happen straight away. It can happen six, eight, ten weeks after you've started it. And that presents in red, sore, angry lumps and around each injection site it's very itchy around the injection sites it starts off being a bit red after a certain you know after injections and then it will go itchy and sore and it gets all dry that's an allergy and we need to change the products and um, if you've got tattoos uh, on your abdomen you don't need to avoid those areas you can put the the needle into the skin area there where tattoos are that's fine
undoing your syringe, the needle out of your packet, you take it out, um, hold it firmly like a pen, move the orange needle snapper out of the way, pull the needle cap off, which it can be a bit tough. Uh, hold it with the needle pointing down so that the air bubble will come to the top of the uh, plunger. Get, choose which area of the skin you're going to use, which is appropriate. And then you're going to pinch the skin like you're pinching an inch. It's a bit easier on your skin. It's hard on this plastic thing. Um, and then put the needle in at a 90 degree angle, put it to the skin and push it in. Then put your finger on the plunger and plunge it down slowly, slowly, just gently in. Remove the needle, snap your needle in the needle cover, which protects it. You put it straight into a sharps box on the skin. Don't rub it. It will sting for five, 10 minutes. If you have a blood or sometimes you get a little tiny blob of blood come out when you take the needle out or a blob of heparin, you just dab it with a tissue afterwards and leave well alone. <music>